going on, y'all? It's your girl Coco coming with a review. If loving you is wrong, uh, season two, episode six. Who's baby? <laughs> okay, the first thing you know, it continue on from last week with Brad and Marcy in the office. They about to get it on. They kissing, they hugging, they, they rubbing all on each other and stuff like that. You know, they all up on the desk and everything. You know, they was they was getting it in. I thought they was about to really do something, but Brad stopped. And uh, Marcy was like, don't stop. Just just keep going, keep going. But Brad was like, no, we shouldn't do this. So she's crying, she's hurting. And she got a lot of questions. She just won't answers. And they both crying to each other, talking, you know, consoling, confronting, consoling each other, you know what I mean? And they said they'll be there for one another and we'll get through this. And. You know, they glad, he glad that she didn't take advantage of it, or he, she's glad that he didn't take advantage of her, too. They both stopped. And the next scene, we come in with Alex, um, she coming downstairs all slow, holding her stomach and stuff. A little belly hurt, a little belly hurt. And she gets on the phone, she calls Kelly, and she asks Kelly if she at home, and, you know, can she come over? Kelly runs over. So she said, what's wrong? She said she's cramping and she's been spiking. Can she take her to the hospital? She was like, sure. You know how Kelly is. Sure, yeah. I'll take you. So uh, they they on their way out the door. You know how and she walking slow. She can't go too fast because she's scared. So uh, Randall's outside. He's like, he runs over. and He's trying to see what's going on. Are you okay? And, you know, Kelly is pushing him back like, you know, move, move, back up. You know what I mean? Get, get on somewhere. Go on back to your house. This don't concern you. So, you know, she ushers uh, Alex in the car. And Randall just standing there looking stupid. So, uh, Kelly me mugs him. Then we go back to Brad and Marcy in the office. And, you know, they, they, you know, they coming off that little kissing high or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> And she's steady, she's steady talking about that she got so many questions, and Brad tells her that, you know what I mean, you don't want to, you don't want to know all the answers to the questions that you, that you got, because, you know I mean, it's not going to make you feel better, it's going to make you worse, and really, you, you don't want to know that, because, I mean, what do you want to know it for? And then, uh, she tries to tell him, don't blame yourself, he tells her the same thing, and um, you know, basically that was it. You know, I mean, they glad they didn't do it. So they asking each other, uh, would you have done it? He said, I guess we'll never know. She said the same thing. He asked her, would you have done it? She said, I guess we'll never know. And if you need me, call me. If if you need anything, I'm your friend. Thanks for not being, you know that one that just, you know, want to give up the poo-poo and he want to give up the wing-wing, you know, just to hurt, you know, the other people that hurt them. It's, it's never worth it in the end, anyway. Don't make, don't let somebody turn you into somebody else that you're not. So then we go to the scene with Natalie and Lucius. And Lucius comes in and Natalie, sorry, y'all. Uh, Natalie, Lucius comes in and Natalie asks him, uh, did anything happen today? He was like, no. She was like, don't lie to me. Uh, Esperanza told me about, you know, seeing Randall at the, at the office with the lawyer or whatever. So she tried to figure out what's going on. Who keeps trying to tell her, don't worry about it. That she might, he might be able to help Eddie in the long run. And she was like, you can't help the devil. And she's scared because she don't want nothing to happen to her Lulu. You know what I mean? That's her man me. That's her Lulu baby. And she thinks that Eddie is, you know, he ain't nothing but trouble. And he's going to get him into some kind of trouble. Because that's the type of man that he is. And he was like, oh, you almost said you love me. So she starts blushing and everything. Because, you know, the concern that she's showing, basically, that is saying she loves him. But she's just not saying it with words. So she just keeps on telling him, be careful. You know what I mean? Don't, don't do everything. Ask, get another partner. He was like, no. I'm going to be okay with what I'm doing. And so he was like, oh, you almost told me you love me again. You know, they kissy, kissy, and whatever. You know how they be. 
Then we're back at the hospital, and Alex and Kelly are sitting there, and the doctor is telling her everything is fine, the baby's fine, your blood work is fine. Uh, she asked her, what's been going on? Have you ate anything? She said no. And, uh, you know, Kelly says she's stressing. She said that's not good for the baby. Uh, asked her, is she sleeping? She says no. The doctor is trying to warn her of all these things. This is not good for the baby. Basically, you need to do it anyway because it's for the baby. It's not for you. It's for the baby. And then the doctor said that she had called Brad when she was out there. And, you know, because usually men don't be involved in, you know, the process of, you know, checking on the baby and seeing the baby heartbeat and all these other things that they need to be involved in. And she was like, why would you do that? And that's why she told him. That's why she did it. And, and Kelly on the sideline talking about, oh, that's wonderful. So, and, um, you know, the doctor leaves out and says she's still running a couple tests and she'll be back. So, Kelly takes wind of how Alex was looking, you know, about Brad or whatever. She was like, what's wrong? She was like, nothing or whatever. But we already know and Alex was like, she was surprised that Brad is even coming by the way he's been acting. Well, can't you blame me? Look what you did. You you done slept with the neighbor. All right. I would have treated you like that, too. I mean, you really don't know who baby that is, boo. And then uh, Kelly is trying to tell her everything's going to be okay. And here comes the doctor, walks in with Brad. So Brad and Alex, you know, they eyeball each other and they say hi to each other. And then... uh uh. Kelly tried to get up and she got about to leave and then Brad was like, nah, stay. And she was like, well, I wasn't planning on it. Alex was like, stay. So she stayed. She sat down. So Brad asked the doctor before she left out the room, uh, can you get a, t a DNA test on the baby before it's born? The doctor looked at him all strange like, what? No. She said, well, can you get a, a test for race? on the baby before it's born. She's like, no, nah, what's going on? The doctor says she's been knowing them for years and they just want to know what's going on. She just want to know what's going on. So, uh, Alex finally admits that, um, she had an affair and, uh, Brad wants to humiliate her in front of everybody and make her pay for it. And, and that he don't believe that the child is his. I don't blame him. So the doctor tries to give uh, Brad a phone number to a doctor that he, she knows that, you know, probably can help them with their marriage or whatever. He said that won't be necessary. Gave her back the number. She walked out. So Alex jumps off the table. She's like, she's tired of this. She jumps off the table and, and Kelly trying to tell her to be careful. And she leaves too. And so uh, back at Brad's job, Eddie is sitting in his chair waiting on him. So he comes in. He tells him to get up out of his chair or whatever. So Eddie... Uh, tells him that we might have a problem because Randall, his lawyer, was up at the uh, a job today at the station talking or whatever, and that um, he trying to get their story straight. Of uh, You know, that's Randall's gun. He tried to kill you, and that's, that's the story you need to stick to. Brad said, if that's what you want me to say, yes, it was his gun. Yes, he tried to kill him. He gave him some paperwork. He said it should be a good read. He going read to on, read up on that. And then Eddie was like, you know, usually I would have had to, you know, bend your arm backwards for you to say this, but I kind of like the new Brad. It's the new Brad because Brad said, you know what I mean, he's not going to protect homeboy because he done cheated with his wife. So things have changed. So Eddie is like, yeah, he likes that. Um... Back at, uh... Alex and Brad's house, Esperanza and uh, Natalie pull up, Randall's outside, they eyeballing each other or whatever. Kelly already inside with Alex, you know, still consoling her, how much consoling do she need, and nobody checked up on my girl Marcy, who was right next door, you know what I mean? So they trying to check up on her, make sure she okay, and Esperanza get to asking about, you know, how's her and Brad? How's her and Brad? So she get, gets to tell him that, you know, after the party, he wanted to know all these, uh, uh, he started asking me all these questions about Randall. And she was like, she she slipped up and said that she was making love to him and 
and you know how much bigger he was and who she wanted to sleep with more and Nellie was like, and you said you told her him Brad, right? Not Randall. She was like, no. She said she told the truth because he could see right through her. And so she was, Esperanza apologized for even bringing it up, and you made a mistake, and all that. And they tried to tell her that she was going to be okay. And Kelly offers to uh, keep the kids, but she said, no, the kids need to be there. And we go back to Burger Fast, and, uh, Fawn and her daddy, I forgot her daddy name. Fawn and her daddy is looking around the store. He said everything is clean and everything's fine. So he just talking to Natalie and says that uh he found out what Joey did about the, when the store got robbed and ha what he did to get the money back and all this so he can get his job back as long as he stay away from her, his daughter. He shouldn't even see his daughter. She He don't want, don't have nothing to do with his daughter. Period. So, um, Fawn is talking to, uh, ooh, sorry, y'all. Fawn is talking to, uh, Natalie, and Natalie is like, you like my son, and where are you going with this? What are y'all trying to do? And have you had sex with my son? And all this, no. So the homegirl asked her, is your mama white? And, um, is your mama white? And, uh, how did you get him to decide something different? She said, yeah, well, her mom is white. And she's daddy's little girl, so she can get basically what she wants. So, you know, after that, Joey can get his job back. So we back to the scene where Alex and uh, little Peter and little Paisley, they sitting down uh, in, the, in the living room, you know, reading books and stuff, I guess, studying or whatever they're doing. They're sitting down with their mama. Here comes Brad. And he asked Paisley for a hug. Paisley says she's doing something. He was like, well, you still got time to give your daddy a hug. She gave him, give him a hug. Alex ushers them off to go upstairs and wash up for dinner and, you know, do something else. So, basically, so Brad and her can talk. So, she asked Brad, how was his day? He said, uh, he didn't say nothing. He just looked at it. She said, a silent dream. He said, yes. He said... How was your day? She said, I've been at the hospital all day. He said, did you screw Randall today? <laughs> yeah, I'm tired. He said, did you screw Randall today? She said she was tired of it. She made a mistake. She can't live like that. And uh, she's going to keep holding against me, keep belittling me and stuff like that. And she says, I love you. What do you, what would you like me to do? She he said, I will, I will. I would have liked if you would have did what you did. She said, well, we can't take that back. It's already done. So, uh, Alex says, this is not good for me or the baby. Which we already know how he feel about that baby. So, he looks at her and he says, the baby. <laughs> okay. And we back at Burger Fast. I already told you about, uh, Joey, he get the job. So now Joey comes in. He don't know he got the job yet. He talking to his mama. His mama keep asking him, uh, do he like fun? Have y'all had sex? Do you want to have sex with her? And then tells him that he need to stay away from her. And he was like, what are you talking about? Mama, are you on your stuff? Are you on that stuff? Why is you asking me stuff like that? Mother and son should not be talking like this to each other. What, what What's going on? So she tells him that uh, that he can get his job back. Uh, Fon's daddy said it was okay. He was like, "Oh hell no! I tried that before. Look how you came down on me when the store got when you thought I let the store get robbed or robbed the store. I don't want to work here with you. It's not gonna work out." She said, "Boy, yes, you are gonna work here. You need a job so you can get your own place and get the hell out of my house and stay away from that damn girl." And she said, put on this uniform because your ass is closing tonight. So basically, she made him take that job, which I feel you need the job, boo. So we get back to the scene with Randall and Marcy. Rand, uh, Randall's at, at the crib with a drink. Marcy walks in. She comes sit beside him on the couch. <sighs> he asked where she been. She was like out. She's taking off her little shoes, rubbing her little feet and stuff like that. You know what I mean? He was like, where you been? She said, out. 
she gets up, she about to make her a drink. And she said, you signed the papers? He said, I'm not signing them damn papers. He said, Marcy, look, I'm still, she said, what? I'm still what? Say it. She said, you was about to say, I'm still your husband. He said, I'm still here. <laughs> Boy, you was about to say, I'm still your husband. She was like, go ahead and say it so I can knock this bottle across your head. Or whatever. He said, wait a minute, you're not going to be running in and out of my house anytime you feel like it. She said, well, you don't give me no rules. He said, rule number one, no more drinking. She said, hmm, you drinking? Then he said, he said, yep. She was like, what? You smell it? Can you smell it? You smell him on me? You smell him behind my neck? You smell him? You smell him down my chest? You smell him here, there, everywhere? The child was just, do you hear me? She was going down her lip and all this and that like that. She was just caressing her little self. You smell him here? He kissed here. He was right here. He went all the way down my skirt and everything. She was like, let me tell you, detail for detail. Homegirl was getting all into it. She was trying to make him mad. So he, he went on up the stairs, and she was like, yeah, he kissed me here, he kissed me there, and then I, I got on my knees, and then he, he pushed her up against the wall. She was like, yeah, and he pinned me like this. She said, I was feeling so good. It was so wonderful. This is what I've been deprived of since I married you. It was so good. Oh, he made me feel so good. She was sticking her fingers out in her mouth and everything, just all nasty, like, you know, freaking diggy. You know that's the shit she was doing with him anyway. So, uh, she was like, do you want to know who it is? Who it was? Do you want to know who it was? Do you want to know? Do you want to want to? 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 She said, do you know, want to know who it was? It was Brad. <laughs> Homegirl was cracking up. She said, you know what? It was Brad. It was Brad. And she was, they was all close face to face or whatever. All like this or whatever. He was looking all retarded. She was like, oh, you about to cry? You about to cry? Don't cry. Or whatever. She, the next thing you know, he got close up on her. He, homeboy wasn't going to cry. He was about to break something to her. Like, I'm about to break this bitch's heart. He was like, Alex is having my baby. That bitch whole face went white. That was If Loving You Was Wrong, Season 2, Episode 6, Whose Baby? Peace.